Hello, grassroots soccer coaches. Uh, Chris King here, big Roberto Baggio fan. For you guys out there that who know who he is, the Divine Ponytail, 1990 World Cup, fantastic. Um, but let's not, let's not get distracted here. Um, this is the Coaching Kids Soccer Podcast, and um, I'm here to give you tips, drills, fun games, all that kind of stuff, advice um, for grassroots coaches on how to get the most out of training sessions, how to encourage, how to improve our um, kids out there. Okay, so today we're going to focus on how to set up your training session. Okay, so we've spoken about drills, and if you've listened to pre- previous episodes, um, I spoke about what basic equipment you need, like balls, pop-up goals, cones, things like that. And today I wanted to talk about um, what, how best to set that up. Okay, so... I'm assuming that you've just got a small area, so probably like a quarter of a pitch, okay? And um, what I do is I like to get there early if possible, um, and I set up, sometimes I realize that a lot of you don't know how many players that you'll have at training, and this is um, a thing at all grassroots level, whether you're coaching five-year-olds or uh, 25-year-olds. Some nights you might have 10, some you might have 15, some nights you might only have four or five, okay? It all depends on work, injuries, um, if the parents can get them there or school holidays, all, all sorts of things. So I realize that we have different numbers. So what I like to do is be prepared. Okay, so I set up um, most drills, Most I, sh- I shouldn't call them drills. I like to call them games when I'm speaking to kids because kids like to play games rather than do a drill. You know, who wants to play a game? Everyone sticks their hand up. Okay, so if you can refer to it, refer to it as games. So what I like to do is set up two pitches. So that might be a, a 20 by 30 yard um, small pitch with pop-up goals at each end. Um, and side by side with just a channel in the middle, if you can picture that. So you've got two small little games next to each other. And then you've just got a metre or two in between. And that's where me as the coach stands. So um, I can see both areas. I put all the balls in the middle there. And then say if we've got one game, if five kids turn up, we can just use one area and I can pass balls in into them from that middle area. But if I do get a lot of kids coming, um, I've set up a, what I call a mirror drill. So it's just exactly the same size area, different colored cones, just so I can say to the kids, right, you go to the white cone area, you go to the green cone area to the other lot. Okay, so it's just um, a mini area side by side with a meter or two in the middle. That's where the coach stands with all the balls and then they can keep their eye on both sets um, both games going on at once and they can distribute balls to both areas. Okay, so that's what I find works best for me. Instead of having them end to end or anything like that, just have a little area in the middle where the coach can see both sides and um, yeah, then, then it runs a lot smoother that way. Okay, so yeah, that was the main, that's the main tip. And then um, if you've already set those areas up, most games that you use can just be slightly adjusted so you might just have to put some poles in or you might just remove the pop-up goals Um, you might just distribute some cones if you if you're doing the game of gates all you have to do is put some cones out in the middle of that area so you've got 90 percent of the actual area set up and then it's just some slight excuse me some slight adjustments um, throughout the training session for you to set up so it only takes 30 seconds a minute just to change the drill around and this way as we all know that um, kids soon get distracted, soon um, start kicking balls away and um, um, harassing each other and everything like that. So if you can keep their attention by only having a quick change over between drills, it all goes to running a smoother session. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to give you today. So that's um, how to set up a training session. So it's two, what I call a mirror drill. If you don't know how many players you're coming, set up an extra one because it's easier to take cones away quickly or at the end of the session than it is to set up an extra drill while you're trying to keep an eye on kids and everything like that. And just have a little area in the middle where the coach stands and then they can distribute the balls from there and they can see what's going on. All right, guys, hopefully, um, yeah, you're having fun at soccer with your kids and enjoying it. And I hope you're getting a bit out of these podcast episodes. And, yeah, thanks a lot. If you need any extra information, as I always mention, um, head over to Amazon or just Google me, Chris King Soccer Coach. And I've got um, four or five kids' books out, Coaching Kids Soccer, Volume 1, 2, and 3. And I've also got a coaching course on udemy.com 
for beginner uh, soccer coaches. So yeah, thanks a lot, guys, and catch you on the next one.